the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Through the eyes of men it seems there's so much we have lost As we look down the road where all the prodigals have walked And one by one the enemy has whispered lies and led them off as slaves You are listening to the Good Night Message with your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a selection of Don Bosco on this Friday, the 23rd of August 2024, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, with an encouraging and strengthening message in line with the first reading of today, entitled, The God Who Restores Hope to Our Dry Bones. Life as a way of leading us through valleys of despair, where hope seems little more than a distant memory. Perhaps you are feeling broken today because a cherished relationship has fallen apart or a once secured job has vanished, leaving you dry and lifeless. You may find yourself battling health issues that seem insurmountable, or perhaps your finances are in such disarray that it feels like there is no way out. Today, as you go to bed tonight, let us draw encouragement and strength from the first reading that we had today of Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 1 to 14, where God breathes new life into the dry bones, symbolizing his power to restore hope and vitality. In the vision Ezekiel received, he found himself in a valley full of dry bones, lifeless and forgotten. Yet God asks him, Son of man, can these bones live? Ezekiel responds, O Lord God, you know. This interaction signifies no matter how hopeless our situation seems, God knows the potential for renewal. He instructs Ezekiel to prophesy to the bones and as he does, breath enters them and they come back to life as a vast army. This is our God, the God who restores hope to our dry bones. God's capacity for restoration isn't limited to ancient visions. It is alive and active today. In Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31, we are assured that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Even when our strength wanes and our spirits diminish, God promises renewal and vigor. Consider also Joel chapter 2 verse 25 where God declares, I will repay you for the years the locusts have eaten. This powerful promise reminds us that God can restore the lost and broken facets of our lives, replenishing what we thought was stolen forever. When relationships fail, jobs are lost, health declines, and finances crumble, it's tempting to give in to despair. But God is a restorer and a repairer of broken wars. Isaiah 58 verse 12. In the New Testament we find further affirmation in Romans chapter 15 verse 13. Where Paul writes, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him. So that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is crucial to remember that our hope is not based on circumstances but on God's unchanging nature and his promises. James chapter 5 verse 16 tells us, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. In our moments of dryness and desolation, let us turn to prayer, seeking God's intervention and restoration 
Through prayer, we find a direct line to the one who can breathe new life into our weary souls. As you face your own valleys of dry bones, remember that our God specializes in restoration and hope. He transforms lifeless situations into vibrant testimonies of His grace. So, lift your eyes unto the hills from where your help comes. Psalm 121 verse 1 to 2. Trust in the Lord's ability to renew, restore, and revitalize every part of your life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. Oh, breath of God, now breathe. The breath of God.